Hi, kids. Hey, are you excited about Easter coming? I sure am. Especially now that Tim has me on this quest. Do you remember? You don't? Well, I have this friend, Richie, and he doesn't know why Easter is about Jesus. He doesn't even know who Jesus is. So I wanted to know how to tell Richie about Jesus, and I asked Tim to help me know what to say. Tim said I needed to know about three things, and last week we learned all about the cross. Right, it's all coming back to you now, isn't it? Well, while I was on my mission, Zoe showed me that Jesus held out his arms open wide while he was on the cross, signifying an invitation for everyone to be able to come to him. And then Rosie told me about how Jesus, who is life, that's one of the things he said he was, how he took on sin and death and conquered it once and for all when he died on the cross and rose again. And then Jelena told me why Jesus died on the cross. And that's because he loves you and me. That's right. Romans 5.8 says God shows us his great love by sending Christ to die for us. So now I know all about the cross, and you do too. Hmm, I wonder what Tim will want me to discover today. I'm pretty excited. How about you? La 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 la. Where is Tim? He said he would be here. Same time, same... Ah, place! There you are, Tim. Here I am, same time, same place. Are you ready for the next part of your quest so you can share Jesus with Richie? I sure am, Tim. I learned all about the cross last time, so now what? Well, after you learn about the cross, then you need to know about... Ta-da! Communion? Well, not quite. Hey, didn't Jesus take communion before he died on the cross? You're a sharp one, Corey. I will admit that, but we can use this communion to signify something else. What's that? The blood. Jesus' blood that he shed while he was on the cross. Oh, his blood. Hey, isn't that a bit gross, Tim? Not at all, Corey. Quite the contrary. Why don't you go and ask Zoe how many places did Jesus bleed from? You mean there was more than one place? There sure was. Hey, make sure you take all those kids out there with you, too. Oh, I will. Thanks, Tim. Don't mention it. And have fun. Let's go, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Corey. Hey, you're in your quiet spot again. I sure am. Are you on your quest again? I am. Tim said I need to learn all about the blood. Wow, the blood is a very important part of Easter. Well, can you tell me about it? Because it kind of sounds gross. <laughs> sure, Corey. But the blood isn't gross. It's precious. You need your blood to live. Ah. And if you get something bad in your blood, then you'll probably get sick. Oh, well, I guess it is precious. Well, Tim said I should ask you, how many places did Jesus bleed from? Well, what do you remember? Well, they put the nails in his hands and feet. So from there, obviously. Mm -hmm. There would be four places. Do you remember the crown of thorns? Oh, oh, yeah, right. Well, that's five places now. Yeah, and before they crucified Jesus, they beat him. Do you remember what they beat him with? Didn't they whip him? Mm -hmm. And inside the whip, they had little bits of stone and sharp things that would make his back bleed when they beat him. Oh my, I guess Jesus lost a lot of blood. Mm-hmm, but I think there's one more place that Jesus bled from. Where's that? The sword they used to pierce his side. Oh, right. Well, that would definitely be the biggest one then. Mm-hmm, you're right. That would be seven places. Seven? That Jesus poured his blood out for us. Wow, well, you know, this is making me a bit sad, Zoe. Why did Jesus have to lose blood from so many places? Well, each part was signifying a different part of the way he ministers to us. Really? His hands for serving us and healing us. His feet for coming to us. Oh, you're yeah, right. His back for carrying us and our burden of sin. His head for ruling over us. Wow. And his side, which was the deepest part of him, which is where he loves us. Well, yeah, you're right. Huh, but you don't have to, I don't have to stay sad then, right? No, you're right. Why? Well, why? Because Jesus didn't stay dead. Oh, yeah, right, of course. <laughs> he rose uh, again. Oh, well, yeah, I feel a little better now. Mm -hmm. Wow, Jesus' death really was all about me, wasn't it? It sure was. Yeah. Do you know there's even more to know 
about Jesus' blood? There he is. Yeah, why don't you go ask Rosie about the, how much power is in the blood? Power? Okay, Zoe. Thanks. See you later. Oh, hi, Rosie. Hi, Corey. I'm back on my quest again. Oh, good. This time, I need to know everything about Jesus' blood. Zoe said I should ask you about how much power there is in the blood of Jesus. Good question, Corey. Well, the blood cleanses us from sin. That's pretty powerful. Well, how does it do that, Rosie? Well, do you remember Adam and Eve in the garden? Well, of course I do. It's Adam and Eve. And what was their sin? Well, I was eating the apple. Well, disobeying God and eating the fruit. We don't know if it was an apple or not. Ah, oh, okay. But where did the fruit come from? Well, from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, of course. Yes, the tree. Can you remember that? The tree? That's right. Now, you should also remember that when the Israelites sinned, they had to bring a lamb for a sacrifice, and then the priest would sprinkle or apply the blood to the altar, and that would cleanse them from their sin. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. There were other offerings where the priest would apply the blood to their earlobes and fine thumbs and funny things like that. But wherever the blood was applied, that was consecrated. That means set apart. Oh, okay. That's what the blood could do. Well, that's pretty powerful then. It's got like, it's got like superpowers like Tim. You got it. Hey, now, Corey, what did Jesus die on? Well, he died on the cross. That's right. And what is a cross made from? Well, it's made from a tree. You got it. So when Jesus was crucified, his blood spilled out directly on the tree or the altar of the cross. And that signified that the original sin of all mankind was cleansed, paid for, and undone. Whoa. His blood had the power to cleanse all sin? You got it. Even Adam and Eve's sin? Yep. Well, no wonder when we take communion, Jesus told us we eat it and drink it to remember what he did for us. I'll sure be re remembering everything about his blood now. That's great, Corey. Now, here's something else for you to learn. 1 Corinthians 1.18 says, To us who are being saved, the cross is the power of God. So why don't you go find Jelena and ask her to show you some other Bible verses about how his power is for you to use. Ah, okay, Rosie, thanks. No problem. Hi, Jelena. Hi, Corey. Are you still in your quest? I sure am. Hey, this time Tim said I needed to find out everything about Jesus' blood. Wow. So Zoe told me that Jesus' blood was poured out from seven places to cleanse me from my sin. That's a lot. Yeah, because the devil tried to stop Jesus from ministering to us in seven different ways. That's cool. Then Rosie said that his blood fixed our sin all the way back to Adam in the garden. Wow. And Jesus' blood was more powerful than the devil trying to stop him or me. Yep, you're right. But Rosie said I should ask you to show me some verses about how I can use Jesus' blood for me. Mm, I think I have a verse about that. Oh, I was hoping you would. Yep. It is 1 Peter. 1 Peter. 1. 1. 18. 18. It's two verses, so it's 18 to 19. Oh, okay. Yep. And it says, For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. Oh, it sounds like he redeemed me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, but, that ransom. Yeah. But the ransom he paid was not mere gold or silver. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. Wow, that's what Zoe was telling me, and how Jesus poured out his blood to cleanse me from sin. Wow, it sure is precious. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not gross at all. No. Hey, do you know a verse about his blood having power for me? I sure do. And this one is all the way over in Revelation. It's Revelation 12, 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, And they, the brethren, all right. have defeated him, the devil, uh -huh. by the blood of the Lamb. Ah, so I'm one of the brethren, right? Yeah. Oh, well, if Jesus overcame the devil with his blood, then I can too. Mm -hmm. That means I have over the power over the devil because of Jesus' blood. Yep, you do. So if I say, devil, the blood of Jesus is against you, then he has to leave me alone, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Wow. So Jesus' blood is pretty powerful stuff. Sure is. Well, thanks, Jelena. I think I understand now about the blood. 
I gotta go tell Tim. Bye, Corey. See ya. Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim, where are you? Ah, there you are. Hello, Corey. What did you learn about Jesus' blood? Well, Tim, I did what you said, and I asked Zoe how many places Jesus bled from, and it's seven. That's right, Corey. Yes, and each of them signified a different way Jesus ministers to us. So the cross really is all about us, isn't it? Exactly. And then Zoe got me to ask Rosie about how much power is in Jesus' blood. And what did she tell you? She told me that Jesus' blood cleansed us all the way back to the Garden of Eden. His blood was poured out on a tree and the power of its cleansing power went all the way back to that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Tell me more. And then Rosie told me to find Jelena and ask her what the Bible says about how to use the blood for me. Proper thing. And Jelena shared 1 Peter 1.18, which talks about how it was Jesus' blood that paid the price for me to come to him. Not money or anything else like that. Ah, oh, she's a clever girl. And Revelation 12, 11 says that I can overcome the devil by Jesus' blood. It's not anything I have to do. It's all in Jesus. That's fantastic, Corey. Now you know about the cross and about Jesus' blood. Next week, I have a final mission for your quest. See you then. Same time, same place. Cheerio! Oh, wow. I can't wait. Well, boys and girls, remember that Jesus died for you on the cross because he loves you. And his blood cleansed you from all sin. And you can use its power. See you next week.